Anyway, guys. So today we're gonna set up a um, My House Seven from One Hub. This machine. My House Seven is a machine that let us learn and practice about pivoting through the subnet. So this is the diagram. So we need to hang into the machine, the server, and then we need to pivot into another machine to capture all the flags. So in this machine, I'm going to show how can we set it up because during the installation, I found that there are some problems that occurred that prevent us to load the dockers. Those. So let's try out how can we set it up. Over here, let's boot the machine. So we let it to boot normally first. It's going to take quite a while. Okay, so we let it boot. So, okay. So now I see the local start to run already, right? Wait for it first. Okay, so this part start to run the script behind there. So we check and see which part that caused the error first. We need to read the message over here, the logs. Okay, this part it perform apt update and then it start to install or download all the docker those files those apache 2 files okay it start to unpack the docker the ce the cli this package okay this part seems work perfectly right okay it started the container d and then Checking init script. Okay, it seems like this part is not working. It's not booming. Right? Start over here, and then we check it out above there. It seems like when it's setting up the Apache two, it start to crash already, or there are some error occur. So over here, it seems like it's not moving over here. So. Actually, the problem over here is that when we want to install uh, Apache 2 package, right? It will prompt a uh, inside shell will prompt a uh, interact interaction that user need to interact it to select whether you want to restart the service or what. So in this case, when we are booting up, actually it can't let us to select it when they when you want to install. So in this case, we need to get into the root shell. And then we need to fix it first. So now, how can I get into the root shell? Right? Over here, I need to shut down the machine first. So when we, when you guys, inst uh, import the image ready, right? Over here, try to put a snapshot. Like in my case, I put a snapshot, the clean import. Now I'm gonna reset it first. And then in this case. I need to change this one to bridge mode. And then we start up. Okay. So during we start, we need to hold our shift button to show the grab menu. Okay. And put this one at once. We go to at once. And then we go to recovery mode. So here, we wait for it for a while. Later, we need to drop a root shell. We need to enter into the root shell. Okay. So now we go into the root shell, enter. Now we are in the my house, the machine, the root shell. So we check the interface and as it seems like it doesn't have any IP over there, right? So we need to assign the IP manually. Use VSC this client and then in S32. We type like this. 
now we have the IP already and then another one is we need to remove the etc resolve config and then echo name server 2.16.0.1 to make it to perform DNS query those okay so now after we done that one right we go to home we check the script so this is the setup oh here there's a build docker net.sh this how you can see that when it boot up the machine right actually it will run this script after that so you will check if this one is not available you need to perform installing docker so this one i repository those okay and then docker this part uh, where is the apt apt get yeah this part we are going to install right? docker ce is successfully installed unzip also successfully but this one the apache 2 when you want to install right actually you prompt a uh, inside the shell you prompt a uh, user interaction the part the menu so the user need to select yes or no to reset restart the services but just now when we boot up the time right we can't interact into it right we can't select yes or no over there so in this case we try to install it over here first apt we put apt update first we update it and then only we install the apache 2 okay successfully update apt install apache 2 okay yes now we let it to install it over here first so later on when we go inside the when we reboot it right it will run the script normally see this is the one it will ask the user to select yes or no just now at the boot up the time it won't show so over here we need to put yes okay let it install first okay work perfectly right now we reboot the machine just now we saw that when we want to boot up the time it's stuck at the check init the part because of this that's now the user interaction the menu we need to select so now we install successfully the apache 2 so it will be installing normally already it won't prompt anything over there so we let it run first the script just now the build docker net the script so we wait for it to run okay this one is the apt update and then apt install all those files we let it to install it it's going to take quite a while you check it check and see does it start again at the check in it the part not after we perform the fixing the part okay i'm packing docker cecli in the package installing okay it work perfectly over here okay and then start docker socket since work perfectly over here over here i need to launch my machine first let me launch my security okay seems like just now we stuck at the check in it the script part right but over here it seems like it successfully installed everything else already and start to extract all the dockers the images so wait for it. Wow, over here, I need to boot up my parent security the OS first. Later, we need to check and see can we access the server, not the website. Those. This part is successfully installed and then extracting images. It's going to take quite a while. 
the first time we set up the my house seven this machine right it will takes around 15 minutes to extract all those stuff and prepare and install those so after that right only it will boot up quite fast already so no need to worry about that This part is still booting up. Okay, loading the extracted image. You wait for it to run first, yeah. You want to try and see if it successfully installed all those script and built on those Docker. Right? It will stop at the login, the login the part like my house, the login, the screen. So okay. Still installing. This one is loading the extracted images. These are all the Docker, the images that we extract. Now it start to load the extracted images. We wait for it to load all the stuff. The first time it's gonna take quite a while to set up. So we need to wait for it to set up finish first. If not later, it will crash if we go and shut down it or what. Just leave it to install all those stuff and extract all those local stuff first. Okay. Yes, no, it takes quite a while. Okay. The first image has been loaded. Okay, it seems working fine over here. Okay, it seems like two Docker images has been loaded. And my parent security also start to boot already. We let it run first. This is gonna take quite a while. Four images has been loaded. Okay. Okay, it seems like one last more image which is the MariaDB v9 dot tar wait for it to load first and then later after it successfully shown the my home the login part the screen and then it means that it has been successfully loaded all those stuff all those commands from the script so all the environment has been successfully set up we need a chance see does it show any error or what not over here In the proof that the concept has been fixed those like those problems just now that we occur configured uh, load all those image okay working fine still running starting Apache HTTP server launching other container in DMZ seems good over here okay the first docker image loading fine
still got six more the dock docker container need to launch Launching a DB servers. Okay. Africa. Seems like one of the Docker continent is Africa. Okay, seems like everything has been successfully set up. So it shows my house I want the login screen over here. Now we try to scan. We need to find the IP for it first. Okay, seems like I found one. This is one. So now we need to scan for the ports. You can see. Okay, so it seems like this is the one, the mile seven this IP. Okay, now we need to try to access the log, the website first. You see, does it successfully set up? If it's not successfully set up, we unable to access it. Oh, here so it doesn't shows any error, right? So it seems like everything's working fine. Now we need to wait for it to launch, okay. Okay, so over here the IP is this one. And then A080, right? No, it over it. Which is the HTTP. Okay, welcome to the database management system. So it seems like we have successfully accessed my house seven is web server so that's all for my videos for showing how can we set up everything else so later on i will create another video to show how can we perform how can we perform pivoting those and hack into the internal network of this system in my house seven this one so that's all for my video right now thanks guys bye bye